baby. Now, as you've heard all the things, the wonderful introduction that they gave to me, um, you've heard what Mark Bennett said, um, you've seen me over the past many, many months, uh, you have a certain perception of Lisa Hart. With the DVDs that have sold, you have an impression. This is Lisa's life. Birds chirping, sun shining, life is good. She's in great shape, she works out all the time. This is her life. Now when Logan Stout introduced this concept to me, he had that perception of me also. That Lisa's strong, she's powerful. She can help me launch ID Life. But what Logan did not know about me was that I was very damaged at the time when he came to me. What he did not know uh, was that I was in a lot of pain. He did not know that I had had a hip fracture 20 years ago that grew into needing an emergency microdiscectomy for three herniated discs, L4, L5, S1, when uh, my dear husband and I, our third child was only three weeks old. Logan didn't know that a few years ago I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And then this created a spiral effect of the downfall of my health. With the success of the Buns of Steel DVDs and my infomercial campaigns, I thought I was invincible. I thought that was my ticket to do everything. With that power also came a curse of, I dug into everything that I did. Every DVD project, every infomercial project, the opening up of our own business, our Heart Yoga Pilates and Spa here in Frisco. I decided that I didn't need any sleep. I'd average three to four hours of sleep because I can do everything all by myself. Well, what that led to was extreme sleep deprivation and then extreme anxiety and depression. jumping out of my chest. Um, I'm 47 and proud of it. <laughs> I can't wait for 50, because 50 is gonna come now. Anyway, at 47, my mother, God rest her soul, who left me the rheumatoid arthritis, thanks mama. Uh, at her age, she was in the hospital fighting for her life with myocarditis. So at 47, as I'm waking up in the middle of the night with my heart jumping out of my chest, I'm like, is this it? And then the fear of, am I going to be there for my family? And then even sometimes the thought of, what if I just didn't wake up? I don't, I, I don't want to be in this pain anymore. So, when Logan Stout introduced this concept to me back, excuse me, like last August or September, my life was really in a blur at that point, and I was like, Oh my God, this online health assessment, I need this so bad. But I didn't tell Logan that. Logan saw the other Lisa that I didn't see anymore. So I have never endorsed a supplement line in my life. My husband and I have had a lot of fun with all the success we've had. And if I stuck my name on a bottle but then got yanked off the shelves, who looks bad? Me. And then the legacy that we built for our family could, could slip away. So I've never endorsed a supplement line, never done direct sales because I didn't want to be that chick at the party that nobody wants to hang out with. Oh God, here comes. <laughs> so I dug and dug and dug and dug and dug for any dirt on this company, any ingredient that I couldn't agree with. I couldn't find anything. It's squeaky clean. And then, oh, the Perot family's involved? I think they know a little bit more than I do. Okay, 
Okay, so, so Logan, I'm with you. We don't have any product yet. <laughs> the product. So I started traveling and speaking, going to boot camps and everything. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Then we get the products finally at the end of January. I start getting those products into my body. Um, I did go through a little detox period where I'm like, uh-oh, it's not, it's not working. I don't feel very good. No, I've, I've done my research. There's nothing in here that's bad. Let's stick through it. Week by week, I felt better and better and stronger and stronger. And then I tell you, one of the main reasons I even decided to stick my stamp of approval on this and have that faith was when I listened to our dear formulator, Paul Sullivan, speak <laughs> about the chronobiology. And I was like, oh, this makes such good sense. No wonder I still felt like horrible. Anyway, I had other words that I used for it, but I won't use it here. This is just making sense. I spent all this money on all those supplements years after year after year, but it wasn't being absorbed into my body. This made perfect sense. So I stuck through it. And boy, it was like that 90 day anniversary. I started coming up for air. And uh, a great powerful man once told me something, something to the effect of the pace and the path is determined by the speed of the leader. And this leader had fallen. But I have come up for air and I'm flying. <laughs> October, I had taken myself off of the teaching schedule of my dream, our, our studio, that we poured so much money into and so much blood, sweat, and tears. And I wasn't working out since last October because the pain was too much, and that led to further depression and anxiety. Then as my body healed, and the nutrients were being absorbed into my body at a cellular level like never before, I started feeling better and better and better. I did not start working out again until June. And it feels so good. I don't know if I have felt this good since I was in high school. In high school, I even had blood sugar issues. There's, there's diabetes in my family as well. My husband didn't know there were these many things wrong with me. <laughs> my husband was probably asking if he could trade in the warranty. He was getting scared. I feel so much better now, so much stronger. I am clear-headed. I was running on fumes in a fog for years. My husband and I have three beautiful children. Abe, he's 13. He looks exactly like me. Jimbo, I promise you, you are, you are his daddy. <laughs> Sam is 11, and Mary Frances named after my mother. She's eight. Uh, my mother passed away two days after we conceived. May May, as we call her. So as my mom, mama, was up in heaven, I know she was talking to Jesus and saying, I'm ready to go, but could you give my baby another baby? So May May says that as she was coming down from heaven that she high-fived mama, Franny. What they have known most of me was that mom was too sick. Mom was in a bad mood. Mom can't play soccer with you. Mom can't play volleyball with you because she was in too much pain. So my kids didn't even have the vision of me of those things that you saw on the screen. Now they have a mom that can play soccer, that plays softball. because my hammy's a little sore too. But now I can do those things that are my passion. 
not only my business, but where it starts right at home with my three little children that are counting on me. I want to thank Logan Stout for having visionary sight. He's got visionary goggles, man. He's got, he's got like, that Logan sees differently, doesn't he? Logan sees in us what we need to see. He saw something in me that I needed to see, and I see it again. So thank you. that saved my life, that I'm standing here and I feel so strong. Thank you. And I want to thank the most important person in my life, a man with a visionary heart. You're going to have to put the phone down, baby. <laughs> you joking? No, 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 no. My dear He gets called Jim Hart and he says that's okay, it pays the bills. <laughs> My dear husband who has carried me for all these years where I was falling, he cooks for me, he does all the grocery shopping. <laughs> he is my biggest fan and I'm yours. I love you, thank you so much. Okay, I'm so glad <laughs> to have gotten all that out. Again, you cannot judge a book by its cover. Pace, pack, speed, leader. I am honored and I stand before you today, humbled and with great gratitude to be your fitness ambassador for ID Live. My name is Lisa Hart and I'm in direct sales! Yeah!